And you're convinced that the coalition government in Israel can do this, can make this kind of I, deal? I'm convinced that we should be ready to go there. We are strong enough. We should be self-confident enough. We should not fear the, the need to make decisions, of course we should be open-eyed and take care of our uh, security and other interests. I'm convinced we have to do it, and I keep telling our public that if the present government cannot hold together while moving into it, and it's not necessarily the, the case, but if we find that we cannot go together, then we should end up widening the government. It's, the, the, it's, it's time for history, not for politics. And if the needs of history demands that we will make a wider government, so let's do it. The, the future of Israel is more important than the ego or the interest of uh, any individual or, or part involved. And I basically, I feel that uh, Netanyahu fully understand the, the, the historic nature of, of this uh, period. I think that he were able to convince uh, President Obama uh, recently. I think that the position of the administration led by President Obama is extremely important. He is perceived as extremely uh, unbiased, uh, uh, honest uh, broker in this uh, whole situation. By both sides. By both sides. You, 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 you and the Israeli government have uh, no problems I, with Barack Obama I, today. I, I don't have problem. I don't think that, that the government has a reason to, to have problems with him. But he's extremely uh, respected by the other side in a way that could or should prod them to, to, to seize the opportunity rather than to uh, raise the bar every time that, that some gesture is made to it. And I think that we, if we, it's so important that if we can do it, we have to do it with the present government. If we cannot, for this or that reason, keep moving the whole way with this government, we have to widen it. Uh, I'm, I'm not afraid from changing governments in order to change You history. mean bring in Kadima? Bringing him Ka Kadima bring in or, or yeah, either Kadima or, or part of Kadima. I don't, it's not, you know, American TV is not the right place to, to uh, deal with the mechanics of Israeli politics. But basically, we need uh, the, the, uh, the capacity to go into into the peace process on all its aspects, Palestinian, regional, probably Syrians in the future, in the, in the most sincere and daring way. If the government can do it, can be convinced to do it, let's do it with this Under government. Under what circumstances would you leave the government? I think that it, it's you know, inc incongruent with my feeling about how intimate and, and uh, genuine is the discussion within this inner cabinet, including with people that think opposite to me, uh, like uh, Benny Begin or, or Bugiano uh, or Lieberman uh, sometimes. I don't think that I have to hold a kind of a, um, apparent uh, ultimatum or threat that tells if this or that doesn't happen until certain date I, I leave. My position is very clear. They know from day one I'm the only left of center party in the government. I came there in order to make sure beyond certain issues regarding to uh, kind of Keynesian uh, budget. Uh, we came into this government in order to make sure that it will not miss an opportunity to move on the peace process. And that's our litmus test. So our basic position is, is clear. I said it in public in Israel, we should move into this uh, negotiation. We should be ready to take decisions. We are strong enough to enable helping them the, the bottom-up construction of the uh, in embryo state, uh, state in embryo that Fayyad is building and helping Abu Mazen and the administration in the top-down process and move without losing sight of our security interests, but move. If it cannot be uh, done with the present government, we have, it's our responsibility to widen it and to make sure that there's enough uh, power base to do it. Now, the Israeli public who voted for the right-wing uh, uh, parties, 
didn't vote because they do not agree with me on this uh, need to, to solve the issues. They voted right-wing because it seems that part of the left are too utopian, somehow hovering kind of politicians that the public do not trust to make these tough negotiations. So the people believe that somehow right of center people will negotiate in a more thoughtful manner, but they do not have a mandate to uh, stop the world, you know, or to uh, block the, the process. There is huge silent majority in Israel, huge, half of Likud, three quarters of Israel, Beitan, Lieberman's party, 90% of Kadima, believe the same as I do, that we should move, try our best to put an end to it, even if it takes painful decisions about everything, in order to settle and to get rid of this conflict one and for all. Is Benjamin Netanyahu prepared to make those painful decisions? I think that he is a thoughtful person, extremely kind of a, uh, in, in a, coming, to, it's easy for him to come to grip with historic realities. He's a son of a historian, probably historian that thinks different from, uh, from me. Yes. And uh, it's not easy for him on the uh, looking into his uh, background or, or probably his gut feeling. I'm not, uh, no one can penetrate the, the soul of any one of us. But I'm confident that he's extremely sincere about it, fully understanding the need to uh, uh, push forward, uh, keeping our security and vital interest on one hand and being ready to, to move forward on the political process. I cannot promise you what will happen along the way. I cannot promise it in regard to Abu Mazen. I cannot promise about our government. I can promise you that, uh, that we and uh, that myself and, and our party will not uh, sway about this uh, objective and trying to move Israel toward uh, reconciliation of 